If you want to know how to make a click to teleport feature in your Roblox game, make sure to watch this video all of the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a click to teleport. So what it does is you click anywhere on your screen, you're gonna get teleported with your character on that type of spot. It's just gonna, it's just gonna be super cool. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you wanna become a member, make sure to click the blue jump button down below. I do not refund things like that. I do not do that. Um, I got Roblox merch by Audio Nings, one of my friends. Thank you so much for making them. If you want to buy them, just go to the description and click the group link and you're, you can buy it. Today's shout out for the comments goes to this person on screen. Thank you so much for posting something nice. If you want a chance, just comment something nice on this video and you may get chosen randomly. So without further ado, we can continue on with the tutorial. So it, it's not really hard. It is not hard. All you have to do is just check if they clicked and then... So you want to go to start your player. You wanna go to start your character scripts. And you want to add in a local script. If you want, you can just do TP to... Well, click to TP. Click to teleport. After you've done that, we're going to write some variables. First of all, we're going to type local char is equals to script apparent. To then local humanoid is equals to char.humanoid root part. Now we can do local player is equals to game colon get service players dot local player. Local debounce is equals to true. We're, we're gonna make a cooldown system so you do not like, yeah, it's just not gonna mess around. Local mouse is equals to player colon get mouse. Uh, it's probably a little bit tricky if you know if you don't know what get mouse is it's just getting the mouse and if you actually click so we, now we can do mouse dot button one down colon connect function now we can do uh, so some weird code local position is equals to mouse dot hit the position you may be wondering newbie what is this so what we're checking over here we're checking if you have a mouse you do uh, we're, press, we're checking if you hit something with it, and if yes, we're just gonna get the position out of it so we can fire a remote event to then teleport you. Now, go to replicate a storage, add in a remote event, and call it click to teleport event. Now we can do local function fire server game colon get service. Replicated service, uh, replicated storage, I'm sorry. Dot click to teleport event, colon fire server position. We're gonna fire this to the server. Uh, only a server can teleport you, so that's why we're firing it to the server, because the server can teleport. Now we can do if debounce is if debounce is equals equals to true, then debounce equals to false, so nothing else. If you click again, and we can do debounce equals to true. We're gonna write our code here. First of all, click your script away, go to start your GUI, add in a screen GUI, add in a low, uh, text label, name this the click to teleport GUI, customize the text label however you want, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna customize it really quickly, along with a UI corner, text scaled rich, and I'm gonna do Gotham Black. Um, just keep it empty and put the visibility to off Now we can continue on with this Now we can do fire server, so we're just gonna fire the remote event Now we're gonna do some tricky code. It's a little bit messy, but don't worry about it player the player GUI dot click to teleport GUI the text label the text is equals to cooldown Two. You just, you just want to add in a two second cooldown. Um, first of all, we have to copy this. And we have to paste it over here. And set this to dot visible. It's equals to true. It's going to make sure it's visible. And we can do wait one. We can copy it again. 
make it a one second, we can wait another second to make it a zero, and after another second, so it's actually three seconds, straighter, and now we can do text label that visible is equals to false, to then copy this line, and paste it, and made it, make it a false uh, dot text, I mean, is equals to cooldown 2, which is going to reset the cooldown text, and all we have to do is just this. So this is the client side completely done. Now we can go to what you have to do now. Let's go to service script service, add in a script, and name it click to teleport server. Make this the click to teleport client. Now local replicated storage is equals to game colon get service replicated storage replicated so well local click to teleport event is equals to replicated storage colon wait for child click click to teleport event now we can do click to teleport event dot on server event colon connect function and now we're gonna do tricky we're gonna make a player and the location of the player now we can do local humanoid root part dot uh, well local humanoid root part is equals to um, player colon wait for child character make this actually character local Humanoid root part is equals to character colon wait for child humanoid root part. Now we can do if player then so if there's actually a player, we can simply do humanoid root part dot position is equals to location. Let me explain quickly what we have done. In the client, we're just making some variables along with the player, and we're getting the mouse and a cooldown system. Here we're checking if you clicked it, to then get the position, to then make an event which will allow you to fire something to the server. We're checking if there's a cooldown. Uh, if, if there's nothing, we're just gonna make it, we're gonna fire off the remote event, and we're gonna make a cooldown text system, to then at the end, remove the cooldown. In the server script, we're making a variable for replicator storage, a variable for click to teleport event, to then make the function of it using on server event, and then function with the player and the location. Now we're checking if you have a character, and if yes, we're making a variable for the humanoid root part. If you have a humanoid root part, we're just getting it by character, colon, wait for child, humanoid root part. Now we're simply checking if there's a player, and if yes, we're just going to set your location. If you are unsure, you can just do print player dot name. So you're going to just print your own name. This is unnecessary. You don't have to add it in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add it in here. Print player dot name dot dot has attempted to teleport themselves to their mouse location. Now we can do, now we just, this is actually a script, what we can do is click play. Before we actually head into playing, go to your script and change this to player.character and character.humanoid root parts. If you want to know the player's location, what you could do is this. It's kind of like the, the, the slash on the other side. And then if you want, you can do comma, cframe.new, and then location. What this does is it's giving the actual location of the player. You can use this information. I don't know why you would actually want to use it anyways, but you could use it. So what we can do is location is that. And you can just check the location. I don't know why it would actually, but it's just a fun feature to do. I hope it works actually. 
So once we type in console and we click, boom, we can see NewBDRPDEV has attempted to teleport themselves to their mouse location. Location, uh, well, this is our location. I have, I don't, I'm unsure what all these numbers mean. If you click this away and you would, I don't know, if you would want to be at the, at the center of the map, you can just boop, and you're over here. Make sure to watch out if you would teleport right on top of you because you're going to spawn like this. If you want to go back, you can just boom. There's a chance you may get like uh, out of the map. What you could do is just this, boom, and you're over here. You can see all of the locations we are trying to. Um, what you could do is just uh, slash n slash n. And why would that not work? Oh. Uh, this is a little bit confusing me. Well, maybe no. Maybe you should not do that. It's actually just for printing what I wanted to do. Anyways, um, you can have fun with this. You can make it a Game Pass feature, whatever you want. If we just wait, and if we just click, boom, and we're teleported. And we can check the location and over here we're over here. You can just check the location whenever you want It's not really use. It's not really useful actually It's just the fact that you know where the player is So if you did affect this video if you like it like it if you dislike it dislike it If you're new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe member click the blue join button down below My name is newbie and I say peace out